Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we're going to be using the great plugin Elementor Master Add-ons today, which is a great enhancement to the free version of Elementor. Of course, it'll work perfectly with the pro version too. We've been putting this little site together here. Today, we're going to put together this little team member section. And it's a great little team member carousel. It's got the pictures there when you hover over it. Pops up with the info and their social profiles and what have you. If you get back off of it, it'll start rotating again. That's a nice little feature to have on your site and really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to go. Well, let's go down to where we want to work. And I'll simply get rid of this section and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well, let's add another section. Doesn't matter where. I guess I'll start down the bottom here. It's open. Here's our Elementor grid with all the various widgets. These are all the ones you get with the free. These are the ones you get with the pro. We've not got the pro installed today, so we can only use the free ones. If we roll down to the bottom, here are all the widgets you get with the master add-ons and there's plenty of them. And today I'm going to use the team member carousel. So I'm simply going to left click, drag it over to where I want it. And as you can see, it's put in some dummy content there. And here they are, number one, two, three, four, etc. I'm going to go into the first one. I'm going to put in my image. Put in his name. What his position is. Or obviously you want to put in anything you want. I think I'll capitalize that. Put in a bit of a description for him. I'm using a bit of Lauren Ipsen dummy text here since I don't know this chat personally. It's okay, maybe a little bit more than I want in there, so I'll shave a little bit off. Great. And you can add their uh, social media for the various sites here simply by adding the link to them here. Let's put a couple in. And it's there, it's sort of white on the light gray background there, Facebook, LinkedIn, and yeah, let's grab a Twitter as well, I suppose. Now you can go in and style everything when you're happy with what you've got here. Simply go over to the style tab. You can change background color, but I'm going to show you different styles that they have in a minute. Um, because on this uh, default one, which is we're on the team carousel right now, you can't actually change the background color there. Let's put a crazy color in. There we are, something like blue. And while we're there, I may as well just copy that color and we'll use it for the title. But I'll leave that in there. When I change styles, you'll see the difference there. Um, let's make the name perhaps that same color. Might be a little bit light. Description's fine as it is. And let's make our social icons that color too. There we are. You can see them a lot better at the bottom there. You can give them a separate background color if you want to. But that's fine. Um, they're calling it designation, or we'll call it position, whatever you want. May as well make that the same color too. Now what I was saying about the styling, if we go back to the content tab here, they've got several different types. We're on Team Carousel at the moment. 
circle gradient where it puts a little gradient behind there and you can see that background colors come in there also that we put in there circle animation and if you look at that the circle the little colors around the circle there are animating and you've got various different animation styles you can have there scroll left on hover this will put the social medias to pop in like that that would be a good place to put your background colors in for your social media and stuff and they've got content on hover this is the one I like I'm going to use this one today and content draw which is a similar sort of thing with a dark background so I'm going to use the content on hover today now when you've got it set up you simply want to rinse and repeat so simply go to the next one fill it out or you can just delete these and if you've got the first one set up correctly you can hit the little clone button then just go in there and edit how you will I'm going to pause this and I'll put the others in no point you watching me rinse and repeat okay so I've added plenty more here and as you can see because I've got more than four it's added our little arrows here and I think I've got six going on there let's go down to our carousel settings and you can choose to add more columns if you want items to scroll I just want them to scroll one at a time if you wanted if you had a lot of people on your team you could scroll four at a time or whatever works for you now style I'm going to change that from arrows to dots and we've got the little dots underneath that's fine dot color I'm going to put a dark background in this section so I think I'll leave my dot color as white up there which is absolutely fine I'm not going to put a border on them transition duration is the time that it takes to go from one to the other while it's rotating at the moment that's set to three seconds or 3000 milliseconds that works for me that's absolutely fine I want it to auto play so I want it to start spinning as soon as it gets into view there auto play speed well that's every five seconds I'm going to take that down to say three infinite loop yes I want it to go round and round I don't want it to stop when it gets to the end that's fine and I do want it to pause on hover that means when somebody hovers over it it'll stop because that way people can read the content and click on the links if they want to that works for me so we're pretty much there with that carousel the only other thing I want to do is perhaps give the section a dark background and, and a title perhaps so let's go into the section and I'll give it a gradient background See, second color is fine as black there. Let's put a sort of dark blue in the top or medium blue. Great. The only other thing I want to do is add a, add a title. So let's go back to our grid or matrix at the top here. I'm going to use one of the free Elementor heading modules there or widgets, I should say. I'm just going to drop it in on top of the carousel there. whatever heading you like and yeah, let's put it in the middle and I'm simply going to change it to white in color it stands out nicely that blue stands out but I want mine white good so we should be good to go let's update and preview the changes go down to where we were and there's our little team carousel like I say that's a nice little feature to have on your site to introduce your staff to people and we we hover over it, it stops and you can get the social media buttons read the content when we release it starts up again so there you have it there's how to 
create a nice looking team carousel using the Elementor Master add-ons plugin. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.